To get started, head to myviewboard.com in a web browser. In the top right corner, you'll see a link that says sign in, or it might automatically take you to the sign in screen. Make sure you choose sign in with Microsoft. Now you might already be signed in your browser, which mine is, so it's going to automatically sign in. But of course, make sure that if you're not, that you're typing in your school email. The first time you log in, you'll be prompted with a questionnaire. So go ahead and fill this out. And as a pro tip in the located section, just type in the country. Then click the checkbox and then choose finish up. Now you might be prompted to connect your cloud storage, but sometimes that doesn't always happen. So let's go and manually check to make sure our cloud storage is connected. At the top, you'll see an icon that looks like a person holding their hands up. This is called the follow me setting. So go ahead and click on that. And then on the left side of the screen, you'll see an option called cloud integration. We're going to choose that. You won't see all the options that I have here, but what we want to do is find the option that says OneDrive for business work account, not personal account. And you'll see that I don't have an email there. So I'm going to click the bind button. What this is going to do is open a new window and just have me sign in. So I'm going to sign in again with my work account. Once you've finished signing in, it'll return you to myviewboard.com. And now I see my email under OneDrive for Business work account. So my cloud integration is completed. Next, we need to change what's called our board name. So find the icon in the top right corner that looks like a person and then choose edit account from the list. From there at the bottom, you'll see an option for my view board name. This is like a username. And by default, it's my email. So change it something that's unique to you. It's like a username, so it has to be unique. You also can't have any spaces. When you're finished and you like your name, go ahead and click the confirm button. And then that's it. Your account is set up and ready to go.